Okay, so I'm just uh, going to take the start motor out of this Freelander. Obviously the air filter's all gone and the inlet pipes. I'm down to here now. This back cable here is a 13mm. This is really hard to do one handed. Finger tight like that. Yep. So, pull the main cable off. There's another little cable there. Oh, it's going to need two hundred, I think. Well, I'll put that down and I'll uh, have a look. Must have some sort of screw on it or something. So there you go. That little wire's off. I had to use a pair of pliers. It just pulled straight off. I'm going to get rid of this like, stabiliser link bar here. That's a 15 and a 17mm nut. And then we've got the same, the back side. Which is going to be really hard. But I ain't about to film it. So basically just undo them two nuts, the other two nuts, and it should pull out. Let's see. This is already undone, but look, it's spinning that side, so I've got to hold it, so... I'm not going to be able to film that, so I'll come back in a minute. By the way, I've undone a lot of wiring around here. Just to get it free, so you can see properly. I took that bar off, and the big, and the main nut. So I'm imagining it's just that same nut now, the other side. And hopefully it should just wiggle free. So let's have a look. There you go. Fits pretty easy down this back end. Let's go and do it. Slowly. Didn't even need an extension bar. It's probably turning now, the other side, so... I'll go get someone to hold it to the side. Or, the nut might be loose at the side, let's have a look. Yep, nuts loose. So no, can have to do it both handed, so I'll do that and then come back. And as you can see, almost done. So I removed the back nut. Which is again is a 15 and a 17, which I really hate. I wish it would always be the same sizes, but never mind. And then look, the start motor just pulls straight free. That is it. There's your Bendix. Solenoid. Pretty easy job. So, there you go.